jiji la Nairobi. Ni jiji ambalo limetajwa kuwa kati ya majiji kumi yanayokuwa kwa haraka barani Afrika kwa mujibu wa shirika la umoja wa mataifa linaloangazia mipango ya makazi ya watu. Nairobi ni mwenyeji wa kongamano la kwanza la bara Afrika kuhusu mabadiliko ya tabia nchi ambalo zaidi ya watu 1200 watarajiwa kuhudhuria. Bara la Afrika limeathirika pakubwa na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kama vile kiangazi cha muda mrefu kilichopelekea kufa kwa zaidi ya mifugo milioni saba, mafuriko na kufeli kwa mimea. Kongamano hilo litangazia ajenda tano zikiwemo fedha za fidia za kushughulikia mabadiliko ya tabia nchi asara na uharibifu. We should not drop demands for a loss and damage fund. That is important. It is a fact that Africa has contributed the least to the climate crisis today. We are pushing for agroecology policy both at the local, national and regional level for agroecology to be recognized and appreciated as one of the interventions and successful practice for climate resilience. <laughs> Suala la kawi ya kijani inatarajiwa kuangaziwa zaidi katika mazungumzo hayo. Kenya ina asilimia tisa na mbili ya kawi ya kijani inatarajiwa kuwa na asilimia mia moja fikiapo mwaka 2030. Huku ikizingatiwa kuwa jiji la Nairobi ni miongoni mwa majiji yanayokuwa kwa kasi barani Afrika, ujenzi unaozingatia kupunguza matumizi ya stima wanaofahamika kama ujenzi wa kijani ni swala muhimu ambalo litangaziwa kama alaviarifu Nasra Nanda ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa shirika la Kenya Green Building Society na mwakilishi wadi wa Nairobi wa mipango maalum Africa is a continent with a very big um, opportunity and problem it has a growing population an estimated 1.4 billion uh, people will live in Africa by 20 I think 30 or 50 So for us we focus on the built environment as an ecosystem of opportunities. Nasra anasema kuwa serikali ya kaunti ya Nairobi ina mipango ya kuhakikisha kuwa nyumba zinazojengwa zinazingatia umuhimu wa ujenzi wa kijani. The county level right now what's happening is um, we're in the process of reviewing um, green building guidelines and uh, we are hoping that with the focus uh, from the Africa Climate Summit coming to Nairobi it will be the much needed push to uh, to incentivize our regulators to say we need this now to speed up um, and to be mainstreamed lakini je jengo la kijani huwa likoje from a principal perspective you would be building in a way that allows natural light that saves on energy manages you know water you're efficient and also you minimize waste Jengo hili la executive residence ni aina ya majengo ya kijani. Ujenzi wa kijani pia unaangazia matumizi ya sola badala ya kutumia umeme wa kawaida. One of the key things is if you utilize natural light uh, more it means then often in the morning you wouldn't be needing um, artificial light. So that also goes then to your costs. Uh, you'd be saving on your KPLC bills. Um, Uh, utilizing artificial light only when required so that directly affects your costs from an operating perspective huku ikizingatiwa kuwa Kenya huagiza zaidi ya 80% ya mchele nchini kongamano hilo pia litangazia kilimo cha kisasa viumbe anuai na bioanuai na kaboni ya kititia one of the biggest challenges with carbon credits globally has been around integrity let's face it So we in Africa as we develop these carbon markets at scale we have got to ensure that these are carbon uh, credits that are developed with transparency and most importantly with integrity. It's a crucial conversations to have uh, because one thing uh, for the carbon market it's a great opportunity to empower the communities. Katika Kenya kuhakikisha inatimiza iliyofikiwa kuhusiana na makongamano ya kimataifa Kuhusu mabaliko ya tabia nchi, Rais William Ruto alitia saini mswada wa marekebisho ya sheria ya mwaka 2016 kuhusu mazingira ya kushirikisha swala la kaboni. 
Kirika kukabiliana na adhari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Kenya pia imezindua matumizi ya boda boda za umeme huku ikilenga kuwa na kiwanda cha uzalishaji wa boda boda hizo katika mwaka mmoja ujao. Also taking decisive steps in our shift to zero emissions. As pertains the environment, climate action and ecological respons- responsible industrialization, Kenya is in it for Kenya, for Africa and for the world. Tarehe sita ambayo ni siku ya mwisho ya mazungumzo ya kongamano Nairobi, mataifa ya Afrika yanatarajiwa kutoa tangazo moja linalofahamika kama azimio la Nairobi ambalo ni ajenda kuu itakayowasilishwa katika mazungumzo ya mwaka huu ya kongamano la kimataifa la dunia kuhusu mazingira COP28 litakalofanyika Dubai mwezi wa 11. You'll notice that health is not directly called out during the summit. You'll see food is there, energy is there, but health is still missing. So one of the things that we're doing and I think this is an opportunity. One of the things the foundation is doing is we want to amplify the climate and health nexus. So we are starting here at the climate summit and this is something that we also want to take all the way up until COP28 where for the first time there's going to be a climate and health day. Kwa sasa macho ya ulimwengu ya Tanga ya Nairobi kwa muda wiki moja kufuatilia yanayojiri. Zimesalia saa chache kabla ya mataifa ya bara la Afrika kukongamana hapa kuzungumzia swala zima la mabadiliko ya tabia nchi ambayo yameliathiri kwa pakubwa. Dan Kaburu K24 kutoka jumba la mikutano ya kimataifa la KICC mjini Nairobi. Thank you.